the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Privileges Committee says he lied on oath, having already lied to the Commons about lockdown Partygate. There are 104 references to misleading in the report, and the committee says Boris Johnson did it deliberately. There was no party. All guidance was followed and the rules were followed. That is what I have been repeatedly assured. The Tory-dominated committee says his claims to the Commons that Covid rules weren't broken with Downing Street parties and that he'd received repeated assurances about that were lies. The committee ruled that Boris Johnson lied knowingly to the House of Commons on at least eight occasions. He then lied in his actual evidence to the Privileges Committee. They calculate on six areas of evidence. He compounded his sins in another contempt of the committee when he breached confidence, went public with a confidential draft. And they feel he was complicit in a campaign of abuse and attempted intimidation of committee members. The committee said if he hadn't resigned, they would have slapped a 90-day suspension on him. They also said he should not be given the XMP's parliamentary access pass. Is this the end, Mr Johnson? The only sighting of Boris Johnson today, but his office released a written statement with a barrage of invective aimed at the committee that had judged him. They were talking out the back of their necks. It was, he said, the final knife thrust in a protracted political assassination. I find this spiteful, I find this vindictive and massively overreaching. I don't think any reasonable member of the public can read that and say that this is fair and just. Thank you all, thank you. In some Tory associations, support for Boris Johnson remains strong and some say they'll put pressure on their Tory MPs to vote against the Privileges Committee report on Monday. We are in talks with several, many in fact, associations in the Yorkshire region and a majority of the members are Boris supporting associations. So within the party, we are going to see potential deselections, especially for MPs who could vote for this privileges report. Hello, open the door right now, otherwise we're going to break it. Rishi Sunak joined immigration enforcement on a dawn raid this morning. Number 10 has not confirmed what he'll do in Monday's vote. I think Rishi Sunak has got to lean into this. I think he's got to fully accept the recommendations of the committee. I think it's very important that he walks through the lobbies in support of the committee on Monday. He's got to make it very clear that there is no question of Boris Johnson standing as a Conservative candidate under his leadership. I wouldn't block him because that will lead to, I think, very dangerous consequences for the party. It could actually be a bloodbath. They could actually split the party and no one wants to see that. It was only we don't want to see that. The man who backed Boris Johnson for the leadership four years ago must now decide, after a coruscating report, how hard he should be on the former Prime Minister. He doesn't but, like picking fights, does he? He's, this, he? But you think he's going to have to? Well, he's going to have to pick a fight on this because this is really about the soul of the Conservative Party. If Johnson, if Johnsonism, if I can describe what comes out in that report, is the future of the Conservative Party, the Conservative Party has no future. Divided parties don't win elections, so I hope we now have a watershed moment where we can actually come together after this has been concluded. It doesn't but, look like that, does Well, it? I think there's some words that need to be said first, and this will start, obviously, today after looking at the report, but when I'm in there on Monday, I'm certainly going to be saying what I think. A vocal but declining section of the party would like Boris Johnson back. One former Cabinet Minister, Boris Johnson, threw out of the Conservative Party, thinks he should now be disinvited from major ceremonial, written out of the national script. I don't think he should be treated as a former Prime Minister in the way that all the other living uh, former Prime Ministers are treated. So state occasions, maybe even the Cenotaph? I think there's, a, there's got to be a question mark of, about that. Let's not be you know, in any doubt about this. Uh, you know, Boris Johnson is, is in disgrace. The committee released new evidence from a number 10 official who said throughout the pandemic, wine time Friday sessions in Downing Street birthday parties, leaving parties, continued as normal. The official wrote that number 10, through Covid, was an oasis of normality. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Tonight, Boris Johnson is again setting the mood in the building he left nine months ago. As Rishi Sunak ponders how far he should go in joining in the condemnations of the Privileges Report. 
Well, earlier I spoke to the former Conservative Cabinet Minister Jacob Rees-Mogg, who was knighted in Boris Johnson's resignation honours list. I began by asking him whether he felt the former Prime Minister had been completely demolished by his own colleagues. Well, I think there's a real problem with the committee because...